Hi Elena, this is uh, Miss Gonzalez here. I'm s um, making this video. I'm going to try to make it short for you. Just to clarify some of the revisions that I suggested on of your valedictorian speech. And by the way, congratulations. I am so very proud of you, girl. You go. Um, I went ahead and made a copy of your valedictorian speech. Obviously, I didn't want to work on yours. The your um, your 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 copy of it, just in case you didn't want to, you know, there's some of the I, if I because I need to change it. if I'm going to revise it I want to be able to my marks to show so I didn't want to put that on your on your um, on your copy so I just made a copy of of yours and I'm going to be sharing this with you but I felt like some of the some of the comments I some of the things that I that I um, that I made suggestions on or edited or revised. I felt like I needed to explain them a little more. Um, overall, as far as your your speech, I think it's truly wonderful. Um, I love the way you you even thanked the lunch ladies and the staff and the principal and the, even the custodial staff. That says so much about you, and you could see a real uh, just a real theme of just just a real theme of um, of just gratitude and it shows what kind of a person you are so I think I think the audience is gonna love it um, but as far as the writing is concerned of course I made little little corrections um, mainly do just for clarity like for instance um, I think in yours because I have your copy right here in the very beginning you say something like I don't think that it has really hit me or any of us that tonight is the last night we'll all be together. I felt that hit me might be um, a little too much of an informal tone for the for the speaking event, the speaking occasion. I, I, I went ahead and, and thought about, I don't think that has really settled on me um, or any of us that tonight is the last night we'll all be together. So um, I just felt that hit me was a little too informal. Um, and then the metaphor were the cliff. You say here, we stand here today on a cliff. Um, we stand here today on the cliff of the future. It's not really distant anymore. I changed, I made, I really try to flesh out the metaphor a little bit more. Um, because originally you had it, um, the cliff of the future. I thought that was just a little too ambiguous, cliff of the future. So I thought maybe we can, I wanted to pull that metaphor out. We stand here today on a cliff about to dive into the future, which is not a distant reality anymore. So I thought just that, just fleshing it out would make it read a little better. Um, I love the one about the soccer balls, that life, I think of life. And I, I didn't change much. I just, just, again, I fleshed it out a little bit, just added some words to really bring it out. Um, I like that a lot. I thought it was really good, so I try not to change it. Um, again, the the misspelling you had massive or pity, and I think that was just just a typo. But I put pitiful. I think that's what you meant. You must try to excel in everything you do, strive for excellence in every task, whether it be massive or pitiful. And you're talking about the task, so I, that's all I did. Um, one of the other things that um, this is probably. And these are actually I have notes for for especially the ones that are are the ones that are highlighted on here. I put actually um, those are the ones that I want to talk about more. Um, just like just here in just a few years, I felt just as unnecessary. We're just it, it just sounds more cleaner in a few years. I just we don't need that just there, so I just said I recommend taking it out. But for more like eleven, and I'm know you're talking about years are here. And you're talking about, and I kind of put these together because it's basically the, my same revision comment. More like 11 and just kidding. I think that for this event, again, it's too much of an informal tone. Um, but this one I actually had problems putting in my comments because I'm, I feel like I know you already and I know your voice. And one other thing about your voice, Elena, and just it's just that's who you are. You have such a you have such a sense of humor about things and such a light, such a lighty air of things and you make people smile and laugh. You have such a carefree attitude and and I can totally see you say this um, 
So I was like, I don't know if I should t tell her to take it out or leave it in because that's Elena, you know, that's how she is. That's her style. But at the same time, I go, this is a valedictorian speech. And at least in the written part, I don't think, I think you should take it out. But I think you're going to end up saying it just because, because people are going to react. The audience is going to give you feedback. Your peers are going to give you feedback. Um... And you're just going to, you're going to come out with say, you know, just kidding. Or you're going to say like, you know, you know, if it, when you succeed, you're in a position, um, to give rather than take in just a few years. Oh, this is the one that I was saying, oh, this one right here. If it weren't for them nagging me and motivating me to do better, I might not be giving this speech tonight. Just kidding. I think right here you would even say your famous shown, you know, that, that thing that you say. And I think yeah, I could totally see you saying that. And in the, in the moment when people are giving you feedback, when they, when they, when they laugh a little bit, when you say that, knowing that you're one of the, you're like the brightest, one of the bright, I don't want to say the brightest because I don't know that for sure. I've been at every student, but you're one of the brightest minds. And the grand high school says, I might not be giving this speech. It's funny, you know, because of course you should be. And then just come in with your voice, you know, you might say that. So people are going to be smiling and laughing, so you might come out with just kidding. So I don't want to tell you don't say it, but at least in your speech part, I don't think it belongs here. Like, don't plan for that, I wouldn't say. I think it's just too informal. But in any case, you decide me how. Um, and, of course, nagging me. You put bragging me, but bragging to brag about something is to actually talk it up. So, like, your mom would be bragging about you that you're the valedictorian of the Grand High School. So, actually, the word is nagging me. So, I just changed that. And I thought that maybe adding and motivating me to do better because of the nagging. You need something to softly soften that hip from the nagging because nagging is a very, has a, has a negative connotation to it. And um, I thought nagging me and motivating me to do better or something like that to show that in the way that you mean it, just just in case some people don't get it, which I'm sure they will, but still, you know, I just thought that's why I put it in quotes because I don't know, you don't have to use that, just saying that. And we talked about the just kidding. Um, none the, nonetheless, fellow class, the only thing I changed here was because in the other one, um, you're here talking about um, Gabby, Omar, and Clement, thank you. Um, for all those fights, I grew stronger, and I put from them on the other one. But in general, to our parents, thank you for support, supporting us and every. I think you. I think you first that it's not a transition, a speaking transition. There, you're talking. At this point, you're talking directly to Gabby and Omar and Clement. But then you go. But in general, to our parents, people might not understand that you're changing from, not your your and Gabby and Omar and Clement's parents, but you're talking to your peers, and your parents. Okay, so I thought there needs to be transition from Gabby and Omar kick the ball to the to the peers, and then throw it back and tell the and then kick it to the audience. Say I'm talking to you now, and that's what I just and I just added I just added nonetheless. After you talk to Gabby directly, then you should talk to directly to to the class of 2013. Nonetheless, fellow class of 2013, I like to say to all our parents, thank you for supporting us. So I just feel those transitions are going to be put in place. On you gave us all, and again, there's comments here. I felt like you said you gave us all, but still try to give us enough space to learn how to work. I felt like there, you needed to either specify what is it all that they gave you, which I don't think you meant it that way. I think you meant to say it like, you gave us your everything, or you gave us your all. In that case, you need to maybe rework that, maybe revise it a little bit so it says something like that. Okay, but I'll leave that up to you. Um, and this last one where I put with that we've only just you put, uh, this was the original. These are just a few of the thousands of ways you supported us on our journey. Again, you're talking to parents um, that you support us on our journey that we've only just begun. And that's what I mean, that you're on your way to something bigger and you're on the way to the next step. And so I felt that, you know, there was like a, too much of a finality under journey. But again, that's just my suggestion. The sentence is perfectly fine. I just thought maybe you might want to use it. I don't know. But again, you don't have to. Um, and I, like I said before, I love that you thanked even the custodial staff, lunch room ladies. I love that. That is that is one of the most beautiful things about you, Elena. Um, I love that. And then again, I, I feel like we need to go from you're talking to the custodial staff, to the lunchroom ladies, to the, basically the principal and the staff, basically. And you talk to them, but then you say, as you can see, you know, behind each graduate there. I feel like you need something in here to say, okay, now I'm talking to you, audience. 
so directly to all of you in the audience as you can see audience behind each graduate so that's why I thought I added that for that just to make that clear again that transition a dozen ways at least in at least a dozen ways I thought that since you had just a few thousands of ways here I think it might I think a dozen ways would be a little too dramatic and I think you could just say something like behind each graduate there were numerous people providing support in that uh, providing support behind each graduate there were numerous people providing support in that in so many ways or something like that you know um, and here I accidentally struck through and but I think and has to stay so it should and go needs to go and advance in the world. The best way we graduates can show our graduates to make the most of every opportunity, set our pants, and advance in the world with the intention of making it a better place. So, um, just I would take out go, not the end. Um, before concluding the speech, I would like to thank Google, P Google, Wikipedia, and all those websites that made my high uh, high school years. I think that's true. My high high school years a bit easier. I love this because that's when I saw Elena right there. Don't get rid of it. That is you. I just love it. I love it. It's hilarious. Um, that's, that's you. I would keep it, keep it, keep it. Um, with that, I'll let you go. So you won't have to spend all night watching this video. Give me some, fee now you give me some feedback. Let me know what you thought or, um, otherwise, love you, girl. I'm so proud of you. You go. Talk to you later, Miha. Bye.